Hi, I'm Eric Justison. Silver linings. I think of flexibility and possibilities. I believe we're doing things that we never thought we could before, and it's really having a positive impact. From Pinnacles to Point Sur, from Park Field to Painted Cave, Steve and I have spent 35 weeks of this pandemic exploring our Central Coast on hashtag Touring Tuesdays. Here's just a few of the places we visited. And those back roads, the quiet spots for lunch, I'd say we've even found some golden linings. Good morning, San Luis Obispo. I'd like to say for us at Wallace Group, the silver lining has been to learn that we'll continue to contribute to the community, even with adversity at our door. Seeing our clients, the community, and the Wallace Group family all join together has been inspiring. Even as the pandemic has intensified violence for the families we serve, still there have been silver linings here at Stand Strong. From unsolicited donations to online gift drives, to adapting yearly events and dropping off gift cards, you all have let these families know they are not alone. Additionally, our staff have stepped up to provide socially distant and safe services. Everyone is doing their part to support struggling families in our community. Thank you. Hi, I'm Andrea Castillo, and on behalf of the Performing Arts Center and Cal Poly Arts, our silver lining is the success of our virtual field trip program, serving over 9,000 students in over 90 schools in Santa Barbara and San Luis Obispo County so far. We miss you all and look forward to seeing you back at the PAC next year. Hi, my name is Emily LaRue, and my silver lining for 2020 was confirming that where I work at Woods Humane Society shows everyone, whether they have four legs or two, compassion and kindness. This year has been difficult for everyone, and it was especially scary as a mother to a young son, not knowing how I was going to be able to continue to work and care for my child. It was an incredible relief and blessing to be able to maintain a flexible schedule, bring him to work at times, and have the organization welcome him with open arms. I feel so lucky to be part of a community that treats everyone, dogs, cats, and humans, as family. Good morning, Slow. This is Bettina Swigger, CEO of Downtown Slow. And my silver lining for the year is an immense debt of gratitude to the incredible businesses in downtown and the ways that they've pivoted and creatively implemented changes to get through this crazy upside down year. Um, I encourage you all to shop online, go to our new business directory at downtownslow.com to support all of your local businesses. And thanks for supporting your local community. The silver lining for me has been my two girlfriends. I call them my band of mothers. Together we formed a pod for our three six-year-old boys and it's been very helpful during this time um, for distance learning. It's also been very helpful for the boys to be together socially during this time. Um, I don't know what I would have done without them. Good morning, San Luis Obispo. My name is Grant Burkfeld with Alltrex Business Products. 2020 has been an incredible year, getting to spend more time with family and getting back to the basics. I feel the silver lining in all this is we have all learned to not only take better care of ourselves, but to check in with and take care of family members and friends. Looking forward to an incredibly great 2021. Good morning, Slo. For the fire department, the silver lining really was our ability to respond to this pandemic, the resiliency that our community, city, and fire department shown in the service that we provided to our community, in emergency response, as well as supporting our businesses locally and all of the community members. It was a long year, it was a tough year, but we were better for the year, and our agency was able to show how resilient, how strong we are, and our ability to support our community. We're Mary and Chris Gardner, and our silver lining from 2020 is we added two new family members. We added Scout, the dog, and we added Autumn, a new bonus kid. Have happy holidays, everyone, and looking forward to a great 2021. At see we are fortunate to consider one of our essential business and are able to continue helping our customers with appropriate safety measures in place. The pandemic has certainly thrown us challenges our way, but it's also tested our ability to adapt and overcome. We are one of the first dispensaries to start offering curbside service, so overall it's made us stronger as a company. And with so many customers that rely on us for products that help them feel better both physically and mentally, we're just thankful that we can help them in a way that keeps us all safe and healthy. Thank you much. See you soon. Hello, my name is Dr. Leola Dublin McMillan. I'm the Director of Resource Development and Equity Initiatives for United Way of San Luis Obispo County. This year, one of my favorite 
Silver Linings has been watching the way our community rallied together to support the most vulnerable among us. Um, I'm really proud to call San Luis Obispo home, and I love the way we rallied together and supported each other. At Wilshire Health and Community Services, our silver lining is like every day before 2020. We have the privilege of taking care of patients with compassion and dignity at the most vulnerable times of their lives. From hospice musicians playing at the doorsteps of patients to our nurses using modern technology to check in on at-risk patients, Wilshire lives its mission every day, helping people live a better life. In 2020, Our Why learned just how important our mission is to families in this county. And the silver lining was my son gets to go to Y Camp every day. Good morning, San Luis Obispo. My silver lining to 2020 is that wine still brings people together. Whether it's guests relaxing on our safe outdoor terrace, our team pulling together to overcome challenges, or family, friends, and colleagues enjoying our popular new virtual tasting experience, Tolosa Uncorked. Cheers to 2021. 2020 sure has been challenging, but we've been so lucky to be able to appreciate our beautiful town, the beaches, hiking, riding bikes, and I've been so grateful to spend even more time with my beautiful little daughter. And my fluffy BFF. Can you imagine the backlash at work if back in January I'd suggested, hey, let's get 60% of our employees to work from home. And you know what? I'd like that done in five days. Yet in March, Seslock did just that. And the silver lining I think that we've all found is that we can make uh, creative decisions, innovative decisions, and we can get them done pretty quickly. Other great creative solutions that we need to keep around are those uh, dining parklets out for the restaurants, uh, connecting with uh, regularly with family members on Zoom, and of course, lots and lots of homemade bread. The silver lining for the year 2020 is that the city of San Luis Obispo learned that it can be nimble and decisive without going through 12 committees, three years of analysis, and asking permission of everybody in town. Thank you to Derek Johnson and his staff for parklets, for bike paths, for all of the wonderful things that you've accomplished in the year 2020 without everybody's input. Thank you. Hi, it's Mindy with Panera Bread. My silver lining of working at home is getting to have Fiona work with me. Hi, it's Jeff and Dottie from Digital West. And the silver lining of the COVID crisis for us has really been seeing this infrastructure that we built to allow companies to work remotely be implemented in hundreds of companies throughout the Central Coast. So thank you to all of you for that. And Dottie has some exciting news, but we'll tell you more about that later. Hi, I'm Joe Benson with Carmel and Akasha, and here are my silver linings. Teaching my daughter how to skateboard. And how to ride a bike with no training wheels. and how to shoot a basketball. Yay! Oh, and I got a new job.